Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. How's everybody doing? Fine. How you're doing? Super. Good. Okay, uh, Michael, I hear a lot of noise coming from your uh, end. Just make sure it's uh, I can hear I can hear everybody. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's see who we got here. Um, Cicero's here. Teacher, do you think it's better now? Hello. What? Do you think the sounds better now? Oh yeah, much better. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That'll help everybody. Okay. Cool. Um. So. All right. Great. I appreciate that. So, well, tell me, Michael. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. Ah, Rio. Okay, cool. Yeah. And what do you do? I'm an economist. I already finished my uh, my college. I'm an economist. Okay, great. Very cool. Um, uh, before I meet everyone else, I would like to uh, add uh, my usual stuff here. I have the uh, the uh, Facebook group for Colingo. I have my uh, teacher Facebook page. And then, of course, there is the Kalingo teacher page where you can find your favorite teachers and follow them and see what their schedule is and see what their next class is. So. Uh, all right, who else do we have? We have uh, Sandy. Sandy Bustamante, are you there? Hi, teacher, how are you? Good, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. So what about you? Where are you from? I'm, I'm from Costa Rica, a Costa Rica. place called Cartago. Okay, cool. And hey, what do you do? Well, I'm, um, I install uh, CCTV cameras for companies, something like this, you know, surveillance system. Ah, uh, surveillance, okay. okay. Yes, yeah, surveillance system. Sure, sure, sure. Great. And even technical support. Okay, very good. All right, good to meet you. Welcome. Thank you, really, thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Tim Fi. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking. So, what about you? Where are you from? Um, I'm from Vietnam and I'm a student at okay. the university. Okay. Yeah. And what are you studying? Uh, my major is uh, civil engineer. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. And what city in uh, Vietnam are you in? Uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Have you ever been there? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Cool. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Caroline? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi, mm -hmm. So uh, I'm from Brazil. Uh, I am a business administration. Mm -hmm. 
but I am not working at the moment. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking for a good job. Okay. Not in my city because my city is so difficult. Oh really? What's your city? Is a <laughs> is near Belo Horizonte, you know. The name is Ipatinga. <laughs> okay. It yeah. sounds strange, but. <laughs> okay, I don't know much about it's a, Brazilian. It's a good place. Okay, so you're looking for an, a uh, a job in a different mm -hmm. city, though. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, Danilo. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm super. Good, good to hear. Yeah. And did I'm you very happy today. <laughs> What's that? I'm very happy today. Why? And um, because um, tomorrow I'm going to travel to visit my girlfriend, so the weekend arrived, so I'm very happy because I'm I'm enjoying this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Ah, very cool. Very cool. And so, where you're gonna travel? Where are you tra Where is your girlfriend? Where are you traveling to? Uh, because uh, my girlfriend, uh, she lives uh, in a city near of mine. So every weekend I travel to the the her city. And I spend my weekend there. That's nice. That's very romantic. <laughs> cool. And what city are you in again? I forgot which city you're in. My city? Yeah. Um, actually, uh, now I'm living in Campina Grande because I'm studying here. But uh, I'm... I was born in João Pessoa. Okay. And how far away? How far away is? Uh, do you travel every weekend? How far? Um, for for my uh, for uh, the city of my girlfriend or um, yeah. Oh, uh, I think it's fifty kilometers. So, okay. So. Okay. It's not too bad. It's yeah. It's, it's a bit. It's a bit of a drive. They travel in uh, during about one hour. Okay, that's not bad. Cool. All right, now we learned something about Danilo. Uh, okay, Entasar. Yes. yes. How are you? Fine. I'm good. Happy to see you. Yes, happy to see you too. Have you had a good day? Yeah, yes. It's a good morning for you, though. Morning, or is it late night? What is it? Where it's late night for you, isn't it? Uh, four a.m. Four a.m. Wow. So did you just wake up? Um. No. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, we're glad you're here. Yeah, they've changed my schedule, so now I have these later classes. Um, but we'll see. We'll see that last. Um, what else? Um, so what's new with you, Antasar? Um, I started studying French. <laughs> you started studying French? No, not start. I still studying French. You are currently studying French. Okay. Mm. All right, magnifique. C'est magnifique. <laughs> Merci <All right>. beaucoup. <laughs> So I'm glad you're here. Um, Freikar is here. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Freikar? I'm um, wonderful. Thanks. Excellent. Excellent. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you too. How about How about you? You've been busy today. No, really. I didn't work today. I passed all the day here at home. Sleeping mm -hmm. and watching TV. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, lazy day. Yeah, lazy day. Very lazy day. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, my day was pretty quiet myself. So I hear you. Right. Uh, and Marie France is here. Hi, 
Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. What's new in the Bronx? <laughs> Nothing. Good to see you again. Thank you, good to see you too. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we have a conversation class. And uh, um, what do you guys want to talk about? I mean, we can we can just have a conversation for the next fifty minutes. And uh, what's on your minds? Because we could just chat about anything. Fry Car wants to know where Entisar is from. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> She's my friend, but I don't know. I don't remember where it she's from. It happens to me. So that happens <laughs> to me sometimes too. But I remember now. I remember now because <laughs> we had this food. And so that's how I remember. Yeah. Jordan? Jordan. So what do you guys think? What do you guys want what's on your minds? What's new? What do you want to talk about? What do you think about talk about travel? Travel. Uh, yeah, a place that I like to go. I don't know. Like go. Okay. Yeah. We actually I talked I, we did a class like that about a few days ago. I could talk about that every day. And this is a totally, might be a completely different class, so why not? We can do it again. Because I could talk about this all day long. Um, oh, by the way, my name's Anthony. Uh, I live in Atlanta, USA. And uh, I'm happy to be here. Good to meet you. So. Uh, uh, Caroline. Hi. So Michael wants to talk about travel. Uh, first, I'll ask you: Have you traveled before? Um, and if not, where would you like to travel? Yes, I was living in Ireland, and uh, I didn't know a lot of countries just two countries uh, England and Portugal mm. but I would like to go to France mm -hmm. and Italy mm -hmm. maybe your more name, <laughs> your name countries looks, your name looks French to me yes yes uh -huh. it's true <laughs> Uh huh. Um, uh, I forgot. Are you in Are you in Brazil? Yes, I'm okay. in Brazil. No. But your name is French. Okay. okay. Yes. Gotcha. Cool. Um, so you've been to Ireland, and yeah. you've also been to England and Portugal. Yes, I cool. went there. I have cousins who mm -hmm. live in Portugal. Oh, I've never um, been to any of those places. Sorry? I've never been to any of those places. No. I would like. It's amazing. Yeah, I'm sure. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite of the three? My favorite mm -hmm. that I had been or yeah, yeah. want to go? Uh, the favorite that you've already been. So that you can tell us which one we should go to. London. London. Oh, okay. <laughs> we should go to London. London is That's better than Ireland. I went to. Okay. Sorry? So better than Ireland, better than Portugal? Not really. I love Ireland as well, but it's a bit different. Mm -hmm. mm. London, I visited London I. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am afraid of heights, but <laughs> I was brave and it was just my unique. The uh, only time I was there, I, I couldn't lost that time <laughs> and <laughs> I went to London Y. I went to London Bridge, mm -hmm. the 
the museum that it's called Madame Tussauds. Okay. Mm. Uh. It's a uh, how can I say what museum? Uh, I don't know which museum did you go to. Sorry. Uh, which museum did you go to? M Madame Tussaud. Oh, okay. I think the name is Wax Muse Museum. There, there are a lot of um, important uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, stars, people like sing singers. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And actors. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Cool. That sounds nice. Yeah, well, I'll have to go there someday. And I went to, to a city when, when, where I forgot the name that singer that uh, died. I forgot the name. It's a bit strange. <laughs> but it's Singer that died in, in London? M M one house. Huh. M one house. Huh. Uh, is a is a nice place. There is a a place uh, there are a lot of restaurants different restaurants uh, with different kind of food from several several countries you know mm -hmm. yeah it's a it's a world city it's a cosmopolitan city so you're gonna find uh, stuff from all different cultures yes. Big you find more things like that yeah. so um, Caroline uh, Hi, everyone in the lobby. We have a bunch of people in the lobby in the chat room talking, and that's great. Hello, everybody. Um, we have a friend in the lobby named Hugo who is uh, talking about the Irish accent. Now, you're in Ireland. Do you think you know, he, Hugo says that the Irish accent is difficult? Do you agree with that? Was that hard for you to hear? Yes, at the beginning, yes. But in a little while, I could understand better. Mm -hmm. So you got used to it. You got used to it. Yeah, but I I needed a few months <laughs> to. A few months. A few months, maybe three months, to understand instantly. Mm -hmm. You know. Right. Right. Sure. Yeah, I I, I understand that. It's a very difficult accent. Seems like yeah, it. yeah. Uh, Daniel lost his connection. All right. Well, let's see. So let's let's keep going here. Um, so um, Alonso has joined us. Are you asking me? No, I'm asking. Uh, we have a new student here, and I wanted to see if he was here. We have Alonzo, Alonzo Garcia. Yes. Hi. Uh, hi. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Cool. Where are you from? I'm from Peru. Peru. What city? Yeah. In, in Lima. In Lima. In, in, yeah. In the capital. Yes. Yes. So, um, tell me, um, what do you do in Lima? I study. Management. You're studying uh, what? Management. Management. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very I'm, good. I'm twenty-one years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. So, um, have you taken many Colingo classes before? Yes. Yeah. Good. I have. I had some. Awesome. Do you like it? Yeah. It's it's very useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. 
my first class was, um, I don't know, four months ago. Oh, it's been a long time. Then. My first class. But first, okay, so yeah. you've been doing this for a long time, I see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool, well, I'm glad you're here. So we were having a discussion about travel uh, because our friend Michael suggested that we talk about it. So it seems like Colingo is a good place to talk about that since we're learning about language, so travel kind of goes hand in hand with language. Um, so what about you, uh, Alonzo? Have you traveled uh, much or would you like to travel? Well, um, um, I, when I was in Spain, I was five years old, I live in Argentina. Ah. So yeah, you... I, I you, lived there for two years. Okay, so you were you born in Peru? Yeah, I, I was born in Peru. And then you moved to Argentina when you were young? Yes, because my dad's job... Because what? My dad's job... Ah, uh, you're okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, your father's work, your dad's job, right? And uh, what does your dad do? What's his job? He's uh, an, he's a businessman. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, and so you were there for five years. Two no? years. For oh, for three years. Okay. Yeah, I was. I was there when I, when I was five. Ah, okay, I understand. And so, uh, what city in Argentina were you living in? In Buenos Aires. Okay, so you've been in two of the biggest cities in South America. Yeah. Uh, in Buenos Aires. Uh, has you traveled to another country? Yeah, I have, uh, but I've never been to I've never been to Buenos Aires. But I have been to Lima, and Lima is yeah. really cool. Yeah, a long time ago, very long time ago. Oh. But I thought it was really cool. I love Peru. I think Peru is a beautiful, beautiful country. Um, so, what about? Um, so you lived in other countries, but did you ever travel for a short time? Me? Yeah. Um, I lived in Spain for two years. Even in Peru too, you can. I mean, if some some other place in Peru that you travel to. Uh, yes. It doesn't have to we, be. A... I, I went to the Amazonas. Amazonas. Oh, cool! The Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went there. Oh, in the jungle. For a yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's the one. I've never been to the jungle in uh, Peru. It's but beautiful. I, yeah, I'm sure. It's a very great Yeah. Uh, what about um, are there places that you would like to go to that you do you dream about traveling to in the future? Yes, I would. I would like to travel to America. Mm -hmm. And then go to uh, Spain, Italy. I don't know, meet people. Meet people? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I also study Portuguese, so I would like to go to Brazil mm -hmm. for um, Champions World, World, Cup, World Cup. Where? World Cup. Oh, World Cup. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that next year or when is that? It's coming soon, right? Is that yeah. Next year, yeah. I, next year right? Mm hmm. That's I would good. like, I would like to go there. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. We have a lot of Brazilians here today. We always have a lot of Brazilians. It seems like in Colingo, uh, and, and uh, we were talking about um, the biggest cities in South America, and our friend uh, uh, Wagner. Paulo. Wagner says São Paulo is the biggest city in yes. uh, South America, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Lima. Yeah, yeah. Buenos Aires is huge. There's a lot of big cities. Bogota is huge. Uh, Caracas, probably. I mean, there's so many big cities. Uh, Rio de Janeiro. San, so, Santiago. Yeah, San, yeah, Santiago. Um, 
So, yeah, and Danio, he's got kicked out, unfortunately, but he reminds us about the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu. Have you been there? No, no. Oh. That's sad. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it's a ruin, I never went to Machu Picchu. Well, guess what? Here's a secret. I have a secret about myself. Uh, I have been to Machu Picchu. Yeah. I I am American, and I have never been to the Statue of Liberty, or I've never been to New York City or Washington D.C. Anything. Uh, so um, got, all the most famous. I've never seen the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Nothing. Uh, I've, I've traveled a lot in the United States. I've been to 42 states, but I've never seen New York City. So, so <laughs> they say when it's in your own, sure. when it's close, when it's close by, you don't think about it. When you travel, then you want to go. <laughs> If it's in your own country, it's like, oh, it's right there. I'll do it later. <laughs> and you should do it, of course. It's it's amazing. It's one of the greatest places in the entire world. So you got to check it out. Hey, do you like it much? Oh, yeah. It was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. One of the most amazing things I've ever seen. So yeah. definitely check it out. You will not be disappointed. <laughs> uh, so. it'll, be, it'll be very patriotic for you because it's a place in your own country. Yeah. Uh, all right. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so, Antasar. Yes, what? teacher. Uh, oh. Were you with us when we had this conversation before? Because we recently had one, but I think you might not have joined. Hey, no, about there? traveling? I, uh, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Because, mm. uh, yeah, I know you've been trying to, to enter some of these classes and you've, you've had a lot of bad luck, but I'm glad you're here now. So, <laughs> so that's cool. Uh, so, um, what about you? Uh, have you been in? Have you traveled many places, or do you dream about going? Teacher, um, I live in Jordan, but uh, I was uh, born in uh, Egypt. So, uh -huh. last year um, I traveled to Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, and about my dream. Um, uh, I want to visit France one day. Ah, France. Yeah, it's very beautiful, very nice. There's so much to see in France. I would like, yeah, there's a lot to do there. So, um, so you were born in Egypt. What city? Cairo. Okay, and that's where you went, you went back to Cairo last year? I know, we go to them, to Dahab. Okay. Um, do you know uh, Dahab? Um, Dahab. Uh, Sharm el-Sheikh. Hmm. Every foreign uh, um, foreign people try to visit uh, Sharm el Sheikh. It's hmm. uh, very famous. Did you oh. hear about it before? Mm, I don't. I don't know if I know. I don't know much about Egypt. I know about Alexandria. Um, I know about Giza. I know about Cairo. But uh, I don't. But I don't you know. know. Uh, you know Alexandria, Iskandaria, or Giza. Mm. Okay, so uh, they uh, like to, uh, to visit Sharm el Sheikh uh, because uh, they are diving there. Ah, diving. Did you dive? Uh, no, I'm afraid. I can't swim. <laughs> I can't, can't swim. swim? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> ah, all right. So, how long were you there uh, last year in, in Egypt? Um, uh, we sat there for one month. Wow, one month. Do you have family, a family there? Um, uh, my uncles, um, my mother, uh, brother, my okay. mother, brother. uncle, so you, yes. My mother is Egyptian and my father is Jordanian. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. So you stay with, you stay with family the whole time, that's nice, that's good. Mm. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And you dream to go to France someday. Yes. Yeah. Well, France is nice. I, I've been to a little bit of France. I've been to Paris a long, long time ago. My mother used to be a French teacher, and she used oh, to take nice. her, students, her students to France. And I went with her once when I was a kid. And I still remember the food. I still remember the pastries, especially the pastries in the in the breads in France are are amazing. It's the best. You you can't have anything as good anywhere else in the world. Not that I've had. So it's. Um, it's uh, unparalleled. That's a good word. Mm. But. Unparalleled. That's a good word. 
cool. Um, so you speak a French teacher, you can make French Kolingo. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. I wish, I wish there was a Kolingo for other languages because, in fact, I was looking at it for myself. I'm like, because I want to learn other languages, and I wish, because I think Kolingo is one of the greatest sites. Mm. Um, I've seen one. Verbling has Spanish, and I want to learn Spanish, but I want to learn other languages more, and French is one of them. Yes. Mm. I hope so. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah, we'll find out. Maybe, maybe we'll. So let me know if you find one, Entisar. If you find a good one, <laughs> practicing French because okay. I want to find it too. Because I need to practice. Okay. All okay, right. I will. Yeah. All right. So Freikar. Uh, well, I really haven't tried, haven't traveled abroad to my world, my country. I've just traveled here in my country, a lot of taste, but no in another country, in another country. Mm -hmm. And you're in Venezuela, right? Mm -hmm. so yeah, because, because I think that I have to know first my country and after I'll visit another one. Because mm -hmm. when you travel to other country, people ask you something about your country and you really know about it. So yeah. you gotta travel, yes. For a, you gotta travel first in your country and know everything there's in your country, and after you go travel, and it's cheaper. <laughs> ah, to tra yeah, to travel in your own country. No, it's gr it's really good and important to travel in your own country because we all live uh, in interesting countries, and we can all see what our own countries have to offer. And I love traveling in my own country. Uh, I really like my country, and it's very fun. So. Uh, we should all make sure that we that we don't forget about the cool country that we live in, the very interesting countries mm -hmm. that we live in. So it's great that you do. So what what's your favorite place you've been inside uh, Venezuela? My favorite, uh, well, it's El Tobogán de la Selva. It's a it's a it's a very good place because it is in a in Amazon Amazonas mm -hmm. and uh, there is a water file but it's like a slide it's very good it's very good uh, place you can swim a lot and you can have a relationship with the uh, Indians you with know. Who? With what? Uh, Indians, I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Indians, you know. Sure. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they they don't know they 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 aren't like us. They, I mean, they live like they were in I don't know nineteen, twenty year twenty. Do you know? I mean, like they the don't Incans? use like Incans or what do you or like? Uh... I mean that they they don't use our clothes, for example. Right, they right, don't like, use clothes. They they live like they live in 1920. Do you know? Mm -hmm. So like like in Peru, they have uh, the Incan the Incans people from the Inca the Inca people, maybe yeah. um, like Mayans or Aztecs or like something like that. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, but they, of course they are from Venezuela. But Venezuela, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, of course. Yeah. So what about um, okay? So where where would you like to travel uh, if you like? If do you dream of going to another country someday, different place? Uh, where I would like to go? Yeah. Well, I I would like to go to USA, the first place I would like to visit mm -hmm. because I think that if I go there, I'll improve my English a lot. Yeah, definitely. So, I would like to go over there. And after, I would like to go to London mm -hmm. and Canada. Cool. That's three places first. And after, I'll try and try a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah, and uh, sorry, I would like to go to uh, Vietnam. I Vietnam? Want to, yeah, mm. I want to know that place. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, cool. Very cool. Very interesting. Thanks for sharing. Uh, so Marie France. Yes. So 
you had a big move in your life. I remember you telling me that. You were born in one continent, and now you live in another continent. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, for travel, um, I've been in many countries. Really? Like, yes, France, Belgium, Canada, Angola. Um, and in the U.S., I've been in many states as well. Hmm. So, mm -hmm. You've been to Angola. What's that like? Oh, um, Angola is very, it's very good. And I have learned some Portuguese there. The professor, is that allowed if I try to speak a little Portuguese on the Brazil people to tell me how Maybe bad a, I yeah, am? Maybe, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. Uh, boa noite. Boa noite. Ah, eu vou, eu vou falar Portuguese. Mas já yes. Tá yeah, but my jetta in the show's case, that jetta procure. Yeah, jetta's case. Ah, but you're talking good Portuguese. Yeah, so, Carol, Carol, um, I don't know, people could follow Corelli, but she just has to say. I don't know. Cool. So. All okay. right. So, okay. Uh -huh. Whenever I hear Portuguese, it's the one language I haven't really studied yet, uh, as far as like some of the Western European languages. And uh, I need to start studying it because I have so many friends now that are Portuguese in Colingo, and I can never pronounce their names because I don't understand. It seems so similar to all the other languages that I know, but it's not. It kind of sounds like a mixture to me between like French and Spanish or something. Yeah. It's like, like soft, soft Spanish, and I can't. Soft I Spanish. To, and I need to get used to it. So, yeah. So, boa noite. Is that how you say it? <laughs> Is that right? I can't see. I can't pronounce it. I can pronounce many languages, but I can't pronounce Portuguese. Yet. No, but no, it is very good. Uh, you said that right. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I just, just trying to, I was reading the words. I don't know, but um. yeah. Okay, cool. So you're so, but Mary France, you didn't tell people where you were born, though. That's interesting. Oh, okay. I was born in Congo. Yeah, yes, I was born. born yes, I was born in Congo. And Democratic Republic of Congo. Yeah, Democrat. Yeah, um, Kinshasa. People know more Kinshasa. Yeah. So, what language did you uh, did you grow up speaking then? I grew up speaking French and Lingara. Lingara. Yes, and French. Okay. What's uh, tell me about Lingara? Is that the is that like a national? Is that a dialect or is that a language there? It's 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 kind of the national. Our national language is French, mm -hmm. but the. Uh, the, the language, the, I don't know how to say that, but it's like the main language. The official language is French because we speak that in the you know, office everywhere. But uh, Lingala is like our dialect, but it's the main language. Okay. Uh, it, mm -hmm. Apart from Lingala, I do speak many languages as well. Right, I do, of course. I do speak Chiruba, I speak Swahili. You speak those languages too? Yeah, I do speak that. Chiruba, Swahili, yeah, French, Chiruba, Swahili. English. Oh yeah. yeah. So you're like a polyglot. Uh, Just trying, yeah. So yeah, that's why because those the other languages we, I have begun with when I was so little, so like French and Lingala, Swahili, Chiruba. Well, we we speak that in in the house. So, and we know. So that was like. So. Now, are, are there a lot of Congolese folks in uh, like Paris? Are there a lot of people from Congo in Paris? Oh my God! Yeah. Right. A lot. Yeah. yeah. Most most Congolese people um, in Belgium as well. There are a lot of Congolese. Yes. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Very interesting. So you've you've traveled a lot. You've had a very interesting life all over the world. Many continents. Um, what about, do you dream of traveling more in other places, other countries, other continents? Uh, not really, but uh, I would like to go to Brazil. I love Brazil. Ah, did you hear that, all, our Brazilian friends? She wants to go to Brazil. <laughs> well, did you hear what's happening? There's a lot of stuff coming up in, the, in Brazil. What's coming up next year? The World Cup is in uh, Brazil. Yeah, and, me. And, and also, what else is happening in what 2016? What's happening in Rio de Janeiro? The Olympic Games. Uh, the Olympic Games. The Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, I will be in in Rio. So, oh, cool. so you should go to Brazil soon. There's a lot of exciting yeah, things happening. Maybe 2016. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I'll come too. That sounds fun. We should all have a hangout there in 2016. Let's all meet in, in Rio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing, like I, I will be traveling with my school to learn the language in France. So like the next spring, maybe I will be in France. So because part of the school, you can go learn French over there. So next spring, I will be going there. In oh, France. cool. Yes. Where uh, where in France will you be going? Oh, I don't know the city yet, mm -hmm. because it's like we we have to apply. There's a lot of things to do, but like the school, I I think maybe France, maybe Paris, maybe Paris, but I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Cool. Thanks for sharing. No problem. All right. Uh, okay, Michael. Hello. So, what about you? Uh, now I have to see what I have been. Oh, just it's up to you. Whatever, you, whatever you have been, or where you would like to go, or in your in your country, or outside of your country, anything. Well, I I already went to uh, Amsterdam, Lisbon, Paris, and home. Oh. And my favorite was Amsterdam. It's a very beautiful place to oh. go. Oh, you've been a lot of places. Everybody, I think that everybody should try, should try. Yeah, my yeah, my grandfather's going to Amsterdam in a month, so. Ah, here you go. Oh yeah, my grandfather is a world. Yeah, but I think it's for it's more for young people, not for like uh, my grandfather. My grandfather is very young at heart. <laughs> my grandfather uh, is my best friend. Uh, we hang out all the time. I live with him, and we're best friends. And he's very young at heart. Oh, but, good. Yes, I, so good. I, he's also bringing his granddaughters, and they're also really young, and they'll have a great time. So they'll party. So I think he will have fun. A lot of the very beautiful place. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've, I mean, yeah. It's one of those world cities. It's one of those travel destinations. I'd like to go someday, for sure. Yeah, I don't have a lot of things to say because I spent just 15 days there. But a place that I like to go is Machu Picchu. I was talking to you in the chat. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to go there this year, but I was thinking like December, but I still lo didn't looking for. The good day to go. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know if December is good or bad. Would it be rainy? I don't. Well, see. Yeah, I don't like if it be rainy. I'd like uh, uh, if the weather is some. Uh, is uh, I'd like to go in a, in a hot time. Uh huh. Uh, so Alonso. Yes, tell me. So uh, Michael and I are talking about a good time to travel to Machu Picchu or to somewhere in Peru. He was thinking December. Do you think that's a good time to go to Peru? Oh, I don't know because I live in the coast, so we have different. It's totally different. Weather. Totally different. Okay, yeah. so he's on. He's in Lima. The coast. It's uh, the climate is totally different. So I can't. But I don't. I don't know if maybe you heard. Uh, if you uh, heard. I will find out. <laughs> yeah. I can't hear him. We can Google. Let me see. Let me see. He said he'll find out. So we'll have to Let go. We'll have to Google it. <laughs> so, but um. So that's okay. That is no problem. I went in August and it was very, very nice in August. I think it was August. A long time ago. And it was sunny every day. Yeah, it was sunny. Maybe it, it rained a little, but it was fine. It was no problem. Uh, because someone said me if it raining there, they just close the place and n anybody can go there if it's la if it's raining a lot. Hmm. I see. Yeah, though that makes sense. It's very dangerous to. Uh, yeah, I'm scared uh, about that. If you hike the uh, uh, the Inca Trail, which I did with my grandfather a long time ago. We hiked the whole thing four days. No, your grandfather liked to travel. <laughs> oh, he's a world traveler. He's been. <laughs> He's been yeah. every, he's my hero, but uh, uh, but we did that and it's and it rains some, so it's sometimes the trail is very very narrow and there's a cliff that drops many many meters. So let me ask you, Anthony, uh, have you ever been Disney World? I'd like to go there sometime. Um, yes, I was in Disney World when I was younger, I think, in uh, Florida, Orlando. Uh huh. Yep, yeah, I was there. Mm -hmm. Uh, have you? Okay. Well, we can check it out. 
It's something to do. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Who else do we have here? Thanks for coming. So, Mohammed. Hello. I'm here. Hey, what's up? I'm fine. Thank you. So. Uh, How are you? I'm good. Good. Good to see you. So we've been talking about um, travel. Okay, I was listening. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, so what about you? Um, uh, have you uh, traveled much? Uh, well, first tell us what country you're in and everything so that we can know where you're coming. I, I live in, in Qatar. In Qatar, no. yeah. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm originally from Yemen. Mm -hmm. it's, an, it's another country in the, in the region. Of course. And uh, I've traveled to um, Saudi Arabia when I was younger, to Mecca, and then traveled to Yemen. It's, it's oh. uh, in the same, in the same road. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you so you've already there been there. So you've already what, been to what? Mecca. You've already gotten that out of your way. No, not not yet. Oh, not yet. Yeah, not yet. Oh, I thought but you said you were in Mecca. I were, but not in the season. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, regular days. But uh, in 2009, I went with my father uh, to Turkey. To oh. Yeah, to Istanbul, and then we went to uh, Trabzon. This is very beautiful. It's wow. different, so it's got to be beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Different is kind of beautiful, right? That's kind of what travel is about, right? That's what exotic yeah. means, right? Wait, let's look at this word. I like this word, exotic. So, like, that's kind of what we're talking about. Different is beautiful, right? Exotic. It's like if you go somewhere and everything is different, the weather is different, the people are different, they look different, they speak a different language, the buildings are different, the food is different, the religion is different, everything. That's exotic. And it's, a, it's an amazing culture shock. It um, is. And, uh, and it's very exciting to travel. Uh, to, so it, if anyone's lucky enough to do it, it's... If you have, to, yeah, it's, if you have the fortune to do it, it's, it's, uh, it's a very... No, I would love to, to travel to everywhere if I could. Yeah, me too. If I can. Definitely. Yeah, me too. My, uh, it's, I have so, a mom. it's so nice. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I, I was listening. It's okay. Um, the only thing I was just gonna say that I have a motto. I have a, a phrase that I say that I that I made up. Uh, it, it's uh, I want to go every place I've never been because it's uh, I just I love traveling. So like, there's no if you would tell me that I can go to a, another place for free, I would go there. And it doesn't matter. I there's I would be interested in traveling any country, any city, any place. So, yeah. so, um, cool. so what about is there anything else that you want to go to, Mohammed? In the future? Um, countries? Anything. Any place. Well, uh, I, I would love to um, to 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 go to so, somewhere that no, nobody lives in, like in nowhere. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Like, like Antarctica or something. Yeah, like an uh, isolated island. Like nobody lives there. Ah, a remote, remote place. Remote. Yeah, a remote isolated. place. Yeah, sure. Um, Greenland, <laughs> Siberia. But it's so, too too cold, isn't it? Mm, these me. places, these places are very cold. But uh, well, it depends on what year or what time of the year. But maybe a remote island, maybe, maybe. Um, I don't know, maybe someone... Tropical someone, island? Maybe, yeah, tropical islands. Maybe someone here can recommend a, a remote place that they've been that's... Nobody's there. I don't know, there's a lot of people everywhere in the world. We've kind of inhabited many places. Yeah. But it's it's like, uh, if I go there, I would, <laughs> I would scream, like, <laughs> I would do crazy things and nobody will <laughs> judge me. <laughs> Ah, so you want to escape. Okay. Well, you it's could do like that in that. America. America, people are crazy in America. You could do that people think you're normal here. <laughs> it's normal. People do whatever they feel like here, as you probably noticed. It's crazy. So, 
stuff. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, right. keep, keep, keep traveling. Okay. Um, Samuel. Hi. What's up? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, so what's new with you? I'm a little sick. Today. A little sick? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. I was... Yeah, uh, a cold? A cold or... Uh, uh, some cake. Okay, cool. So, um, have you listened to some of our conversation here? Yes. Yeah, we've been kind of talking about it. Travel. Um, so, Samuel, do you want to tell everyone where you're from first so that we can get a feel for for who Sorry. you are? And Can you tell everyone where you live? I'm living in where? In where? Berlin. Berlin City. In Berlin? Berlin. Berlin City. In Brazil. Brazil? I I can't hear it. it's very yeah. the, it's very muffled. It's hard to hear the the microphone. You can listen to me? It's just a little quiet, yeah. So maybe you can type it because I'm sorry, I, it's hard for me to understand the words. Um, so say one more time. Can you hear me? Yeah, a little better, a little better. So go on. Okay, so where would you like to travel? Or where have you traveled? Have you visited other places, other cities, other countries I've never ha have been I've, I've never have been of the country but uh, this, okay. year, this year I will go to I go and go to United Kingdom UK Oh cool cool you're going to the UK huh Awesome Yeah Wow that's great that's a really cool opportunity Mm -hmm. Are you yeah, I've never... are you you stay there uh, for about two, two years? Two years. Yes. You're gonna stay in the, in, in the United Kingdom for two years. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome! Wow, are you excited? Yes, so much. Uh -huh. I I get a uh, a scholarship. Of a program, Brazilian program, like across borders. Okay, yeah, I think I've heard of that. Yeah. And will you be working or studying or? Uh... Are you? We go. I'm going to study. Study. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. cool. Very. So you'll be you'll you're. In a couple of years, you're going to be fluent in English. You're going to be the best English speaker here. You're going to be your English is going to be perfect. So that's so awesome. I I will improve my English for about six months. And after I I will study graduation graduation. Mhm. Mm that's awesome. Very cool. All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's interesting. Yeah, I've actually never been to England or anything like that, any of the UK yet, but I hope to someday. So, um, we have a couple more minutes before I have to prepare. For, I have two more classes, and then I have a third class after that tonight. Um, but my next class will be a beginner grammar class. So, but it's beginner, not high beginner, not intermediate, but just beginner. So it'll be very easy. So if you are want to learn some very easy beginner stuff, um, you can join me or I'll tell your friends. That. Okay. So what else um, about travel? Um, Anthony. Uh, does anyone have any? Questions for each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you know another English besides English? 
Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do you know another language? Do I know another language besides English? Yeah. Is that what you're asking? Yes. Um. I mean, I'm an American, so I'm a typical. I, I kind of know English. Um, I know some French. Oh. Um, and I'm interested in a few other languages. I'm a beginner. I'm a very beginner in other languages that I'm interested in. But but I'm not very good. I, I'm not even at intermediate level in any other language. And I feel, I feel kind of guilty about that. Being a language teacher and not being able to speak another language, I feel, I feel wrong. So I think I need to get good. I need to be conversational at least one language. That's my goal. Hopefully soon. Maybe French. Maybe some other language. Bonsoir. Yeah. What about you? Do you have other? Right now, uh, I'm. Bonsoir. <laughs> and right now, I'm studying. Yeah, Alonso. Portuguese. Portuguese. I'm in, yeah, I'm in basic school. In what? Basic. 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 Yeah, I see. Cool. Yeah. Well, Muhammad says language is easy. It's simple. You just listen and then you talk. Yeah. Well, if you're surrounded by the, yeah. The basic, oh, you said basic too. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's probably where I'm at in French. Maybe. Basic two or beginner two or intermediate. Uh, all right. Okay, so um, looks like, yeah, I think I need to go now. I have another class to prepare for, but very cool conversation we had. I got to talk to everyone. We didn't. It was like it wasn't a group, but I got to talk to everyone separately, and uh, we all got to learn about everybody else's uh, travel experience. So yeah, maybe we we'll have some good. ideas where we want to go to in the future. In oh, thank years, you. Maybe if we have a chance. So yeah, good job. Thanks for. Uh, good to hear everyone and good to see you and hope to see one of my next classes. Thank you, teacher. That was my oh, first okay. class and I really like it. Thanks a lot. Thanks oh, a lot, cool. Teacher. Awesome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you. Take care, all right? Bye-bye. See you then. Bye.